Born to Ride is sponsored in part by Rubenstein Law, 1-800-FL-LEGAL, representing riders since 1988. Offices throughout Florida, 1-800-FL-LEGAL. If Instagram is your thing, we're there. We're everywhere. Follow us at hashtag Born to Ride Motorcycle Media, your number one motorcycle resource. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Born to Ride. I am the Flash Man, that beautiful lady over there back in the house. Heaven, welcome back. Hi. Heaven with uh, Florida Ride or Die. You got that? Get right up on that microphone now, there, girl. People got to hear what you have to say. I can move it. Listen, I had to put my. I'm, I'm fighting it, Heaven. I've been telling you this for weeks, <laughs> but I'm fighting it. I had to have the. I have to have the glasses on now. Yeah. Hey, uh, shout out to Antonio. Antonio's got us fired up. He was the first one on tonight. Antonio, we're going to be calling you in a couple of minutes because we got some big news. Uh, of course, uh, Matthew checking in. Uh, he's probably right across the room, but it doesn't matter. He's still checking in, <laughs> giving some people time to, to get logged in here. Tell you why we're going to be calling Antonio because this just happened. Yes. This just happened. And by the way, uh, Heaven... Thanks for uh, for bringing the crew out to the Twisted Turtle on Thursday night. What a blast. Yeah, it really was. A great turnout. It was. Even uh, for the weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, honestly, God, you know, we, most of the time in the summertime in Florida, we talk about the rain and how bad it sucks. Yeah. But this heat streak, this heat wave that we've been having with uh, with temperatures with the heat index of 111 degrees has just been brutal, especially on a bike, man. Mm. Ugh. But like I always say, the real bikers will get out there in the rain, and uh, they'll get out there in the in the heat, because it's what we do. It's what we do. You got the uh, you got the um, the feed checked out. We got uh, the HD racer in. We got Dale in the house. Everybody's checking it out tonight. So what have you been up to, Heaven? You've been uh, you you guys have been busy over Florida Ride or Die. Yeah, we've been really busy. We planned a lot of stuff uh, during the pandemic, which Mm -hmm. hopefully that doesn't prevent us from moving forward with some of the stuff that we're trying to do. Um, As a lot of people know that follow the Florida Ride or Die page, we do have the launch party coming out. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Yeah, so we we got that coming on, and uh, we got a lot of group rides. We got a lot of events that we're wanting to do that – if they're on the page, you'll be seeing about it. So make sure you are following the Florida Ride or Die page. And that's on Facebook, correct? Correct. How many people you got up on that now? 21,000 members. That's unreal. Yeah. That's unreal. And I'm checking, I check it all the time. So if you guys send a request, I will accept it. I got my phone right now. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and follow that page, and you can find out about all the events that we have going on. And, uh, and check us out right now if you got folks that need to be exposed to this show. Uh, by all means, you can get uh, face. Just text your friends. Facebook uh, dot com forward slash Born to Ride TV yes. magazine. Of course, Florida uh, Ride or Die teamed up with uh, with Ron and uh, mm-hmm. the, and Debbie at uh, at Born to Ride. Very instrumental in, in getting everything set up. And man, we could not be more excited for you guys about what's going on and what's happening. And it was great to see everybody. Kind of, kind of. I kind of met your family. Yeah, uh, a whole lot of the folks in your family on on Thursday night over at the Twisted Turtle. Yeah, that was a good time. I got to tell you, we had a good time playing the music. We had some singing, we had some dancing, we had some drinking. Yeah, it <laughs> was a uh, it was a great time. time. And man, what some great bikes, man! I got to tell you, man, and Antonio's uh, uh, Busa. Is yeah, his sweet. new one. It looks nice. Is sweet. Yeah, if anybody's need any work done, check that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, without a doubt. You know what? We for without let let's get him on the line right now. Antonio, get ready to pick up the phone because we're calling you right now. Because I know Antonio, as well as the night went on, uh, got more and more excited about uh, about everything that was uh, that was happening there. And uh, we're talking about launching uh, another radio show. There's just there's all kinds of things in the works. Uh, that we're doing. Let's see if we can get Antonio on the line because nobody speaks about it with as much passion as as Antonio does. Pick up that phone, Antonio, and turn the volume <laughs> down on your on your phone right there. Hello. Um, Antonio, who's this? The man. What do you mean? Who's this? I'm telling you, we're calling you right now, live on the show. Hey, what's going 
going on, Flash? How you doing? You know how we're doing, man. We're <laughs> doing some. We're doing, we're doing some born to ride radio. We're just recapping everything that happened uh, with you guys out at the Twisted Turtle on Thursday night. What a great time we had with everybody out there, man. It was like I, I like got to meet half your family. That <laughs> was pretty cool, man. We're talking about yeah, that. that. That place used to be another place called Cayman Cove. Yep. Uh, Scott owned it. Back in the day. Um, they sold it. Yeah, back in the day. They sold it. Um, that bar was already on bar cover and everything. But these guys, um, they took it over. They're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It's, they're really nice. Nice guy. I told you that's my buddy Greg. That's, that's my boy up. Rick. Yeah, we've been we've yeah, I've been up. I've been working with those guys for a long time. So you couldn't have picked a better place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they come up yeah. in Queens. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. So, dude, congratulations on the magazine being out. I just I just um, I'm gonna put it back up on the screen. I'm showing it right now as we speak. The Florida writer. Now, where where do you got the the magazines at? Can we get them now? Yeah, they're all over the place. Quaker Steak, um, they're in um, basically all the uh, power sports shops. They're in um, Cascadia Chevrolet. They're in Register Chevrolet. They're in Flamer Ford. Okay. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. You got man. them at your shop, they're, right? Yeah, they're in my shop. Um, they're, I mean, there's so many locations. They, we flooded the whole area, and... It's making its way down south right now yep. to Orlando, and then it's making its way right now as we speak toward Jackson, Illinois. Yeah. Well, I got Heaven and I got Elsa in the building today. Mm-hmm. I got half you. I got I got all your promo girls out here. They're on the show with uh, me tonight. Those are my buddies. No promo girls. Those are my friends. That's They're it. Awesome, man. I love them to death. I They're can't like blame you. I'm starting. Yeah. I'm I'm starting to catch some feelings for them too, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're awesome. They're such good kids, man. Yeah, I say kids because I'm an old man. <laughs> you and me. They're in the little twenties. I wish I was that age. You and me but both. They're, 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 they're good. They're good people, man. All the expenses, man. Listen, you yeah. know what's nice too is they're passionate about riding motorcycles. They're passionate about the magazine. They're passionate about getting out and and sharing the love and and everything that Florida ride or die is all about now what we got to talk about before we let you go is we got to talk about now we got the magazines out but we're having the the the, the, the big launch ass party. launch party yeah. that's coming up on the 12th yeah, right the event, the yes. event. Yeah, it's a huge event man I'm, huge. I'm expecting thousands of people there man we yeah. got one club that's bringing 60 70 cars and then we got another club that's bringing over two three hundred bikes and then another one I mean, it's, it's insane. I mean, just on Facebook alone, it says over 500 people. Nice. Uh, and that's not including the doctors, lawyers, and friends that we have that are coming up to this event because we've made it a special event. That's it. Uh, yeah, we didn't turn, you know, I took the, the launching, mm-hmm. and uh, I met a little boy that's uh, seven years old right now that was adopted by a friend of mine in Popeye. Uh-huh. And he owns a car club that called TK Creations. Right. And um, his, the little boy is autistic. Right. And his parents were drug addicts. So they used to, uh, I don't want to get too much into it. They used to abuse the child, lock him in closets, beat him, stuff like that. That mm-hmm. little child, man, yeah. where he goes, where, where he's gone to. That little boy, you're the people that are supposed to love you the most. Yeah. Your mother and your dad. Yeah. That to you. But they overdosed their gun. God took them. You know, and um, we're gonna do an event, and we're gonna get we got a whole bunch of stuff to raffle right here. I'm sitting in my living room. I have like about I got a drone, I got a dirt devil, I got brand new Skechers, or the nice. good ones too, like 150 dollars Skechers, nice. uh, Super mm-hmm. Nintendo. Um, we got some screen TVs. That are being donated. I'm showing. And I'm showing. Gonna, a, I'm showing a picture of Elijah right now on on the uh, yeah. on the camera that's in the magazine right in yeah. the front in the yeah. center the, the the full page spread right there. Now we're going to we're going to raffle off all that stuff, and 100 percent of the money that we get for that raffle yeah. is gonna is gonna be collected by that boy and his father in I their love hands. I love that it. money is not gonna funnel through no hands. Right. But the father and the child. That's how I do my event. That's the person, it. If the person that's in need or the person that needs it, they collect their money. That way, not one penny will be touched, and there's no issues. But right. 100% of that money is going to go to that child. That's awesome. And we're going uh, to show him love, man. God's going to wrap his arms around that child yeah. that day. We're going to show him something beautiful, that there is love in this world. I love it, man. 
Yep. And tell Neil, that's why we love you, brother. That's why uh, we man. love you, man. It's all about giving back. We, we, you know, and I know you don't need a pat. You know, you don't need a pat on the back, but I'm, I'm giving it to you anyway because it's, it's. Listen, listen, man. It's, it's, you know it's, what we need to praise? We need to praise God. That's all. That's man. it. Praise God, man. That's it, man. That's don't worry it. about me. I'm just doing His work. I'm just a servant. That a boy. So we're good. You know what I'm saying? Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's well, it. Well, God so love you for that, man. Wear positive vibes. I love positive vibes. That's what we're gonna do. Gotcha. You know. Gotcha. Uh, shouts out to the Tiger Lady, Angela. She's going to be there. I'm seeing that uh, the Two Wheel Heroes will be there. We've got, uh, of course, our uh, friends from uh, Kemp Rouge and Green. They're a big sponsor. Yeah, Stacy. I love you, Stacy. Stacy. Yeah. Yeah. She's awesome, Stacy. Team Ain't Loud going to be there. I can't imagine what that's going to be about, Heaven. Yeah, it's going to be off the chain, man. It's going to be, yeah, they're going to have a, a boom competition, uh, like, uh, to see who's got the loudest radio. It, the place is huge. It's huge. You can have 3,000 people there yeah. and still have six foot social distancing. Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to scan everybody as they come through the door. Okay. We bought a bunch of scanners, FIFA right. scanners. Right. And we're going to call, we're going to give them a red bracelet if they're clear so they can go in and give them a free uh, bandana. Okay. So they can put over their face. Gotcha. I mean, better safe than sorry. You That's know what I'm saying? Hey, and uh, if, they got, uh, if they got fever or something, they just, I'm sorry, man. I, yeah. you know, what can I do? You yeah, know, well, I can't yeah. have one of people. Let's... But we're going to make sure that we're going to practice social distancing, covering ourselves up, you know, with the little bandanas. We're mm-hmm. going to be safe and take temperatures at the door. Very good. All right? Very good. Yes. Yes, sir. All and right. it's huge outdoors. So there's plenty of space. Uh-huh. Plenty, plenty, plenty uh-huh. of space. Well, listen, Antonio. I don't know if you remember or not. We were uh, we we had a, a few shots out there at the Twisted Turtle on Thursday night. But you invited me to come and hang with you. Uh, is that is that still an open invite? Uh, you gotta come over here, man. Come to the house. I got a nice old pool. Come over here and <laughs> swim. Yeah. You know, throw, some, throw some stuff on the grill. All you guys over there, man. Ronnie too. He's back. You're Ronnie. You Ronnie's know? checking in right now. Yeah, we gotta get. We're all family, man. We're all family. That's what it's all about. Family. That's it. That's it. Right at that, baby. That's it. Well, brother, proud to be a part of your family, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, talk some more about this event with uh, with heaven, and uh, yes, and, and get it out there. What you got to do uh, to get up in the uh, get up in the event. So uh, much love to you, man. Yes, sir. We're gonna be giving free t- t-shirts. We got thousands of them to give away over here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna float right around that t-shirt. Look at that. that. Look at that. Hev- heaven's Congrats. displaying it even as we speak. Uh, swear it's it's oh, Are you kidding me? You know she's going to represent. Yeah, I don't know that always. You know That's she's going to represent. Yeah. All right, Antonio. Well, uh, much love to you, man, and we'll see you out there. Art, now, listen, uh, uh, let me ask another quick question before we let you go. Heaven, now you, uh, uh, Rick, is actually watching from uh, from the Twisted Turtle. Nice. Uh, did you hey, did Rick. you uh, did you get a did you get a shout out to uh, to Rick? Are we going to be doing? An every Thursday thing? Are we doing it once a month? We were kind of up in the air when I left on Thursday I night. To him, I talked to him. I talked to him, and we talked about every other week or something like that. Okay. You know, because we want to get it ready. We want to, you know, we want to. We're gonna have different places, or you know, and if we make them big, we can do them once a month. We can make huge ones over there. Yeah. Once a month. We already talked about having great for it, but you know, it takes preparation. Sure. But you want to have a lot. You know, you want to have people ready for it. Not just call it one last minute. Yeah. The little event she did was cute. It was nice. It was, you know, a little classic event. Mm-hmm. But uh, to make a nice, nice, huge bike day, it's going to take at least two or three weeks of promotion, you know, maybe four, yeah. to have a nice, banging bike night with like 300 people. Okay. You know? We'll take it. We'll take it. So, that's how it works. All right, you my know? friend. Well, listen, Antonio, we will catch up with you. Uh, if I don't see you before, I will see you definitely uh, on the 12th. I think me, uh, I think Ronnie's planning on coming out. We're going to bring, of course, bring some of the cameras out so we can get some good footage so we can talk about it on the uh, on the full Born to Ride multimedia outlet. Uh, all righty, man. If all you right. don't see me go crazy by then. I'm quitting smoking, and I've gone the whole day without one cigarette. <laughs> that a boy. I'm, I'm climbing walls right now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna quit smoking. Listen, if you're gonna be a quitter, that's the way you got to start right there. That's what I want you to do. Yeah, I quit smoking. Yep, that's it. No good, man. No All right, good. my friend. All right, Bye, we'll catch you soon. All right, man. So see you guys out. Heaven Bye. says, see you later. All right. Bye. See you later.
alligator. <laughs> that boy's got a big heart right there. The Chopper Daddy's checking in online. Chopper Daddy, let me know if we can call you. I tried calling you before the show. I want to get. Uh, I want to. Ch- I want to chat with you if you're if you're available. Let me know. Shout out to Ron Hawks. He is. Uh, he's got us fired up. Chuck is uh, is watching. He says, "Nice shirt, by the way, Heaven." Oh, it is. thank you. A nice thank shirt. You. Yeah, Very we'll nice shirt. Out at the event. So we're able to come to the event. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Will they look as good on you as they do uh, on everybody else? I hope so. Uh-huh. We have other shirts. They don't have to be the tanks. We've got V-necks and we got regular cruise tuck. Because I don't think I'm going to be looking that good in, in, in that shirt. I can cut some up for you. Make it <laughs> <laughs> Listen to like. it. Listen, I can cut some vent holes in there for you, Flash. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right, so uh, getting back to the event, uh, the mm-hmm. big launch party coming up uh, July the 12th. Now, where is it at? So that's going to be a Quaker, too. All the details will be on our page. So if okay. anybody had any questions, you can refer back to there. Okay. We also ask that people that are knowing for sure that they're going to be going, that uh-huh. they put that they are going to the event, just so we can make sure we have enough T-shirts. Have so you enough- have an event on your uh, Facebook. Yeah, so, we- so, mm-hmm. so make sure that you're, you're going. Yeah, so just you can put your interested if you're not sure. Yeah, we just right. like to have a roundabout number. We'll probably round it up anyways. We just want to make sure we have enough of everything, free stuff to go around, you know. So. Here, take take this microphone and say that over again because evidently we have uh, Mr. Uh, Nightlife is saying we are, we have, you're on. Can we hear me better now? Yeah. There you go. Get right I'll up on this. So, I was so yelling, right. too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, if you check out on the uh, Facebook page, we have all the information. Uh-huh. If you're not on the Florida Ride or Die page, go ahead and send it in by. I'll accept it now. Okay. And um, that'll show you all the details. What we were asking, if you know that you're going to the event for sure, uh-huh. that you can put that you're going to the event so we can have, you know, roundabout numbers. We will be rounding up regardless so we know um, how much shirts to have. Okay. food everything so just make sure that you put that you're going or at least that you're interested if you think you'll go so we can have a ballpark number all right cool mm-hmm. all right well that sounds like a uh, plan so if you're not friends with the florida ride or die make sure you uh, send out a friend request and uh, i actually know the person that runs the page she might be actually sitting across the room from me right now <laughs> she might ready be ready to mm-hmm. accept you Mm-hmm. So there you go. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, having you into the, you like the flat, you ever watch the flat track? Didn't you used to race bikes back in the day? Yeah. yeah. Did you? You, you <laughs> like, so you like that. I like bikes just a little bit. <laughs> Listen, Clay by the Bay is coming. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've heard about that or not. Mm-hmm. But we're going to give uh, my buddy Jeff from uh, RPM Promotions a call, and uh, we'll talk to him about uh, Clay by the Bay. It is coming up next right here on Born to Ride Radio. Don't you even think about moving. We're back in seconds. Race fans. Saturday, July 11th, Flat Track Racing is coming to Tampa with RPM Promotions. It's Clay by the Bay, presented by Ruben Steinlaw, representing riders since 1988, and Born to Ride TVM Magazine. Don't miss top amateur and pro racers, handlebar to handlebar, at over 100 miles an hour, fighting for that $5,000 purse. Special flag man, the legendary Bubba Blackwell. It's Flat Track Racing back in Tampa. Live pay-per-view from Fight TV. Kids and under six are free. Adults, $20. Kids, 6 to 12, 10. Family fun for everyone. You can buy the whole seat, but you'll be sitting on the edge at Clay by the Bay. Saturday, July 11th, East Bay Speedway. Race fans. Here's your chance to win free tickets from Rubenstein Law and Born to Ride. Just go to Born to Ride TV Magazine Facebook page and tell us why you need to win free tickets. We will be contacted winners. Race fans, don't miss it. Race fans! Fresh off the highway. 
cutting with my hands moving out the wing Only seeing tunnel vision, adrenaline rush right off the speed The whole game behind me getting litty, why'd I take the lead? Throw the ride or die the way of life we live and feel free In a better place in the chapter, I'd rather be, you hear me? When life starts to act like a bit and stress me out I grab the bike and hit the road and, and let it out Oh yeah, throw the ride or die run through my veins You can tell when you see us at the track or on the fast lanes Come check the vibe on how we roll, come ride with us It's an affair, she's my mistress, she's just a nitrous Pop and clutch, doing a century, we will ride or die However, we never ride faster than the angels fly Florida, ride or die, ride or die, ride or die. There you go. It's born to ride ready. Oh, it's uh, the Flashman here, and uh, that's Evan slipping back in over there. She was uh, she was off having a break right there. That's all right. Listen, uh, is that what you were doing? You're always you're always working, Evan, for crying out loud. Take a break. Do some born to ride radio with me. Now, listen before we went in the break. Now, you you uh, you started out as a youngster on the motorcycle, doing some flat track racing, doing the. You are on the dirt. Give us the history again. We got your. Uh, we got some pictures of of um, of the bike that you uh, that you currently are riding these days, and I got and I got to tell you, uh, pretty oh, pretty sweet right there. Oh, that's such a good picture. Yeah. Is your the is your mic on again or is it off? Because I can't hear you. Can you, you again. hear me? I might have turned it off for that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was just talking away again. It did not work. It. That yeah, was my fault. So that heaven. Fault. So this is heaven's bike. What is that now? That's a Ducati. The Ducati. Panigale. Oh, look, you even got that picture. Listen, we got pictures, girl. What, what other pictures you got in there? Don't you worry about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, we got, uh-huh. uh, listen, we got we got the whole deal right oh, there. Oh, yeah. I know which one this is. But anyway, so give us a little bit of history. So you, you did you start out doing dirt bikes and stuff like I that? I did, yeah. I started racing. My, my first race one for my dirt bike was a YZ85. Okay. Yeah, I was, the YZ85. Yes, yes. So I like two strokes. That's why I love my Ducati because it right. rides very similar. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah. So that's where my passion started was dirt bikes, actually, right. and then worked now, my. You, now, did you ever get out on the clay and do a little flat track racing? Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. I mean, I enjoyed it. So. Well, then it, you're it gonna, started young. <laughs> then you're gonna love this guy. You know, I've actually got Jeff from RPM Promotions on the line. We're bringing clay by the bay yes. back to East Bay Raceway. Uh, Clay, are you, everything uh, looking good for that so far? Are you everything uh, still still in the works? Or Jeff? Hey, hey, yeah. Thanks for having me on. Uh, yeah, every, you know everything's a go. So uh, I'm in constant contact uh, with the with the racetrack down there, at East Bay Raceway Park, and and uh, you know we're excited. I fly out Saturday, and man, I can't wait to get down there. And uh, the buzz is uh, uh, big time on this. Now, back in the day, you actually raced at East Bay, did you not? <laughs> No, I did. Yeah. I think it was the late 90s I raced down there and, yeah. uh, you know, it was part of the uh, Flat Track Series out of Daytona. That would be the first event we would race at Municipal Stadium over there. And, and I think in the middle of the week on a Wednesday night, we would come over and uh, race uh, over there at East Bay. East Bay is legendary in these parts, man. It is, you know, and uh, I think it's been 15 years, like we talked about last time on the show, that, mm-hmm. that motorcycles have been on that racetrack, and yeah. I really think a lot of people are excited to see some two wheels go around that beautiful facility. Oh, I know I am. Heaven, we might have to get the, the whole uh, the whole crew out there for Florida Ride or Die and get out for there and sure. support. For sure. Yeah, it'll hey, be fun. Sp- hey, speaking of beautiful, you know, I see Heaven on there, and, and I've been, you know, with everything going on up here, you know, and, and getting sponsorship and the whole deal, I'm like, Man, I need two trophy girls, right? Uh-huh. We're going to be live on Fight TV, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you know, so this is going to be all around the world, everybody watching this race, and, uh, you know, all the fans there, I'm like, I need two girls to sit there and look pretty, and, uh, hey, how about Heaven and uh, one of her friends? Heaven doesn't have any problem with that. <laughs> we might have to bring you else out there. We get Lights I, I Out Liz y'all. out there. We get three or four of them out there for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and I caught the tail end, what was it, Antonio, uh, they got that big event the next day, I believe, on July the 12th, is yeah. that correct? You still going to be in town? Yeah, you know what, I don't fly out till the 17th, so, you know, what I'm thinking here is we can do a little cross promotions, and, yeah. uh, man, we'll really, uh, we'll, we will really get the word out there, you know, the night of my race, and, uh, man, they can have, you know, have it out there, and, and another girl out there, and, and uh, man, we can tell everybody to go to the party on July the 12th. Without Definitely. a doubt. Without a doubt, listen, I'm going to have to get you and Heaven uh, together because Heaven handles all, uh, pretty much all the promotions. 
Yes. For uh, for Florida Perfect. Rider. Well, I've got my number, so all she's got to do is give me a call. I'll uh, I'll good. I'll make sure that that happens for you guys. Awesome. It's yeah, and, and I don't know if we talked about last time. You know, uh, like I just mentioned, we have Fight TV. Uh-huh. Uh, got a deal signed with them, and man, we're really excited about that. So anybody that can't make the race, uh, you know, all over the country, the world, they can go to Fight TV and click on Clay at the Bay yeah. and purchase that thing at fourteen ninety nine. You can't beat that. You'll see some some great racing and the legend uh, there. You know, Bubba Blackwell on the yeah. uh, on doing the flagging for us and yeah. Jackie. Van Ham doing the broadcasting, and we got Gonzo Garth Brow, that's you know legendary Michigan Mafia, they call him. Yeah. Part of the you know the Jay Springsteen, Scotty Parker days, and yeah. uh, Garth, you know he still rides a motorcycle, still fast as hell. So he's going to be up in the booth. Daniel Laxon uh, calling calling the race uh, for the fans and people on uh, you know the fans on live TV. So nice. man, we got a great group of people together, and we're we're excited. I love it, man. I love it. We are so looking forward to it. Clay by the Bay. One more time, uh, Jeff. Tell everybody how they can get a hold of tickets and uh uh give us the deets on on everybody in case they're just tuning in yeah you know the tickets uh you can get them the day of the event adult tickets are twenty dollars and then that kids six to twelve or ten bucks kids five and under are free gate spectator gates open at three o'clock we're gonna kick off first practice at 4 p.m mm-hmm. and opening ceremonies are gonna be at 6 30 and the first heat race kicks off at 6 50 and you know i heard we got some heavy hitters coming in there i know sammy halbert's committed to this thing and we got some top amateurs coming in so awesome. they're gonna see some great racing uh whether you're there watching it or you're on live tv watching it on fight tv so uh uh man we're, we're excited about this and i fly out saturday and uh so we're gonna have to get together and get me on the show down there so we can give out some tickets man you need to get up here and get on the show yes. without a doubt you're in you are well in. i will be there late saturday night so uh, you got me for two weeks got it got it jeff thank you brother we will uh we will check in with you again uh again next week and uh and uh hopefully you'll hopefully you'll be here yeah right yeah no i'll, I'll be there so right. man i'll just come in the studio and hang out perfect perfect awesome all right my and friend heaven, give me a call they got my number, and uh, we'll talk some business. I got it. I'm going to make sure we'll Heaven and Antonio Jeff. have it, and uh, they'll be they'll be in touch with you. Sounds great. Appreciate it. Everybody, stay safe down there. Hey, real quick, I just wanted to mention that uh, you know uh, you know the day of the event, if people have masks, you know, go ahead and, and bring them out. Sure. It's optional. Yeah. You know. And uh, you, you can, uh, you know, practice so- social distancing, and, and uh, we'll, we'll make this safe, and uh, we'll have a great event. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah, like you can Thank never you. be too safe, guys. So let's do That's that. That's right. Let's do that. All right, my friend, we'll catch up with you, Jeff. All right, you guys uh, be safe, and uh, we'll talk to you uh, next week. Right on. That's Jeff from RPM Promotions putting on uh, Clay by the Bay at East Bay Raceway. Of course, all the uh, information is uh, – is uh, in Born to Ride, and you can check uh, borntoride.com out. And excited to say the uh, the new magazine, of course, it's going to be the – God, can you believe half the year's already gone? It's crazy. Jeez, <laughs> unreal. New magazine uh, due out tomorrow, so start looking for it uh, mm-hmm. at your favorite outlet. And um, grab yours. Make sure that you're up to date with uh, everything about motorcycles and the folks that ride them. Uh, going to take another quick break. We're going to get back uh, in touch with Chance. He's with the uh, the Shadow Warriors, helping out a lot of the veterans in, in, in around the Tampa Bay area. They had a big event. We're going to talk uh, about that and uh, find out what they've got coming up as well. That's all coming up next right here on Born to Ride Radio. Don't move.
bikers. We're about 400 bikers. We're here having a great time in Key West. A custom bike, custom slingshot. Great time. We do it every year. The American Cancer Society is working with Ralph from Cartel in order to raise money. Yeah. Donations. Donations. Every money that was raised, will match it and donate it to the Cancer Research Society. We and our partner, Rubenstein Law, have really taken pride in trying to help the community in any way that we can. Anything happens, Rubenstein's Law here behind us. Hi, we're here at Casa Marine and the yearly pool party raising funds for the American Cancer Society. It's a family event and it's great. Join us. Party like 1999. There ain't no pool party like a cartel pool party, huh? And this one goes out to Gilbert. Gilbert! We have an angel overlooking us. Yes, sir. His name is Leslie. You guys touch so many lives and, you know, it's just really a privilege for us to be here and hopefully we continue this partnership. We would love for you to continue to support the American Cancer Society. Leslie, I love you. This for you. Hi, I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one, get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Old Rad Radio continues. We do this for you every Tuesday night from 7 until 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you tell your friends about it. And listen, that, yeah, there's still plenty of show left here. If you got friends that need to be exposed to Born to Ride Radio, make sure you let them know. They can just go to facebook.com forward slash Born to Ride TV magazine. It's very simple to do. Very simple. Uh, and as you can tell, uh, it just got even more beautiful on the other side of the room over there. Elsa uh, joins the uh, Elsa can I I Elsa. She, she said, I don't have any makeup on. She, ran a, she didn't need any dang makeup. <laughs> What's wrong with you girls? So Heaven and Elsa, they're the whole, uh, pretty much the whole crew. The only thing we're missing now is Lights Out Liz, and we'd have the whole crew up in this play. Yes. Florida ride or die in the house representing and uh, somebody else representing. We had a great, great poker run uh, last weekend, Warriors helping Warriors, and we got Chance from the Shadow Warriors, and I got to be honest when I tell you that I'm just a little bit jealous of Chance right now because Chance is coming live from Twisty Treat. <laughs> Tell him to bring some. Chance. Yeah, I've since departed Twisty Treat. I'm en route to my home with a wonderful chocolate malt with banana. It's it's wonderful, man. Mm. You're missing out. Dude, I can't believe it. <laughs> Now, now you know where I'm going to have to go when we get off the air over here in about 25 minutes. I'm heading down to the Twisty Treat. <laughs> well, I've got to, I've got to blame my daughter for that. She's been craving Twisty Treats. We all hopped in the car and headed on down there. So, right? Yeah, there's, there's worse, there's worse ways to spend an evening with your family. Yeah, yeah that true. is so, so true, man. <laughs> and it, at the end of the day, it's all about family. And speaking of yes, family, sir. Warriors helping Warriors. You had the big poker run uh, last weekend. How was it, man? How'd it turn out? Well, I, I think big is a relative word, actually, because, uh, you know, we just had the governor's order that was issued about closing down bars and the night prior to our poker run that went down. So uh -huh. we lost two of our poker stops, uh -huh. but we readjusted. We ended up having about 50 or 60 bikes show up, which is which is pretty darn good. I think people just wanted to get out of the house yep. and ride and, and social distance, but social distance in the wind. Uh, we had uh, Waves Barbecue that delivered some uh, food for us. We had pulled pork and some 
smoked chicken and beans. Uh, it was it was good, and we had a good time. And the good folks at Seminole Harley Davidson set us up real nice with a spot there. So uh, yeah, we had a we had the best tan walk away with a hundred dollars. We had the worst tan got twenty five dollars, and then we had a hundred and fifty hundred and sixty dollar fifty fifty that we split. And I got to tell you, every one of those individuals that won, they donated uh, money back to the Warriors. Love so it. That was really awesome. Love really it. awesome. Love so it, are, love it, love we it. Appreciate you. We appreciate the fact that you guys promo that. We appreciate everybody coming out and supporting that as well. I know. We tried to catch you last week, and I guess you had a meeting to go into, so we couldn't get you on the air live. I, I was bummed about that, but I, I'm so glad that the uh, – the event went on, and we really, uh, we really plugged the hell out of it too, to, just to get some people. I mean, anytime you got the warriors out there and the people that uh, risk their lives to keep our country great, so we can do exactly what we do here every Tuesday night, yeah. man, it's it's worth every word. So you know that word segue, right? I mean, you just segued it perfectly into what I wanted to talk to you about tonight about warriors and the sacrifices. Yep. Um, are you familiar? Are you familiar with the term twenty two? I am not. Well, 22 is a movement that started. Stop 22. Uh, remember the 22. It goes a lots of different ways. But on average, daily, 22 veterans commit suicide every day. 22 wow. veterans a day. Um, you know, we've talked about the reasonings for this. Like when I served in the military, I pretty much did my entire time during the Cold War, with the exception of Desert Storm, Desert Shield. But the kid comes out of college or even high school and joins the military they could serve an entire 20-year career and know nothing but combat deployment wow so these people are coming back and they're they're thrust right into civilian life they're not sure how to cope they're dealing with just horrors of what war entails so this friday going into our nation's celebration of fourth of july we are having a special event out in the Orlando area. It's actually in Winter Garden, Florida. Mm-hmm. We are doing a, uh, it's, it's, we're not asking for money. Let me say that. We're not asking for money. I'm just asking for time. I'm asking right. for an hour of people's time. Right. I want to get 22 motorcycles together, and we've been asked to do a parade lap around their their uh, traffic circle where their American flag is, and we're going to get, it, uh, if we get more than 22 bikes, that's wonderful, but 22 is the number. So we can go in on that parade lap, make a lap around that flagpole, right. and it's going to help bring awareness to the uh, epidemic, a true pandemic of right. 22 veterans a day committing suicide. Wow. Wow. That, so if, that people just... are, if people are interested in doing that, um, if they're on Facebook, they can get on to our, our Facebook page, which is uh, Shadow Warrior uh, Riders MC. That's a national page. The information's on there. They can uh, email me at, um, you know what the easiest thing is? I just just have people call me, 321-230-1960 if they're interested. I'll give them the information about where we're going to stage at. It's actually going to be 6 p.m. at the Oakland Charter School parking lot. Uh, it's it's From there, it's a short ride to the where we're going to do the 22 laps. Uh, the 20, the 22 bike lap around the flagpole, mm-hmm. maybe an hour of their time. If people want to stay afterwards, there's live music, and the event promoter would be happy for us to stay and listen to the music. But this okay. is just something that really needs to be brought to the limelight that so many veterans are committing suicide every day. Okay, uh, so I got folks checking in uh, on the on the stream right now. Give us give us the details. It's this Friday. Yeah, it's it's this Friday in Winter Garden. Okay. Florida. 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. Winter Garden, Florida. We're going to stage at the Oakland Charter School, and I wish I could give you the address for that, but I, I don't have it handy right now. Thank God we got but Google, they, they right? Can, yeah. <laughs> they can Google that, o- o- uh, Oakland Charter School. Uh, it actually should come up as Oakland, uh, Florida, but um, the flyer says Winter Garden, but... 6 p.m. staging there, 7 p.m. We're going to make our lap. Go about your way. There's no charge for this. It's just to show up and honor um, and bring recognition to the fact that 22 veterans are committing suicide every day. That sounds like, uh, from Tampa, St. Pete, that sounds like a good ride for us. Yeah, yeah that would be, a, it would be a good ride for you for something so small, but something so small can mean so much oh. to, to the veteran community, you know, um, to show the support. 
a and there's a lot of Gold Star family members out there that would appreciate us showing up on sure. our bikes. Oh my and God! Doing yeah. that victory lap. Oh my God! Yeah, love that. Yeah. That that's a great thing. And man, let me just tell you, hats off for all you do for our for our vets and our warriors and uh, uh, even the you know even the folks that are still over there uh, you know doing doing what they got to do to keep uh, keep our country safe so we can lay our heads down at night, man. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? We, it's it's been my pleasure for so many years to serve, and I'm I'm still serving. I've got two more years left, and then they're going to tell me I'm too old to continue my service so i got mandatory retirement coming up here yeah but it's been my pleasure to serve in in military uh local law enforcement uh and now federal uh and uh, to give back what i can with my time and my efforts with the shadow warrior riders mc uh, it, it's just my pleasure and, and my guys feel the same way guys and gals that are uh, fellow warrior riders with me yeah um we just enjoy getting out and helping and that's what our club's all about giving back to our communities love it man love it well chance listen enjoy your twisty treat with your daughter and uh listen <laughs> uh stay in touch with us man keep keep us up to date with everything that you're doing man because uh, you know we fall right in line with uh with everything and we love to be able to get the word out for you and i'm sure that uh uh, just putting it out today. We've got uh, we've got the uh, the thread is is just going crazy. People are are, are Man, ready to I, ready to I chime would love in. It. And you know what, brother? I, I want to get together and talk with you as we start getting closer to September because I'm sure you've heard we got our big annual September event, which is our 9/11 yep. memorial event going on in Orlando, and we'll talk more about that. Anything I can do. Some Man, I look forward to it. And thank you so much for allowing me to get on tonight and, and talk about this event. The pleasure was mine, my friend, and I will. Uh, I'm going to text you. I'll text you my number. Is this your cell? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll text you. I'll text you my number and how to get a hold of me, uh, so that you and I can uh, you and I can chat off the air. Okay, man, sounds great. Thank you so much. Chance, take care, buddy. Be safe. Thank you. Talk to y'all later. Take care, bud. I love that, gals. I absolutely love that because, again, you know, whether we're riding our sport bikes or we're riding our Harley Davidsons at the end of the day, we're all bikers and we all care. I mean, you guys, uh, especially, uh, we've just, and we think about this. We've just gone from one extreme to the other uh, on this show tonight. We are taking care of uh, a little boy who has autism and has has been dealt a bad situation uh, family wise to raise money for him. And then, you know, just to give time to our warriors. Yes. I didn't realize the 22 thing. Yeah. Uh, that That's the 22 project. That That's crazy. So, again, uh, Shadow Warriors are putting this on. If, uh, if you guys uh, want to ride out there, they're meeting at the Oakland Charter School, Oakland, Florida, uh, 6 p.m. this Friday. And then they're going to do uh, uh, do the ride. Uh, at least they want to have at least. I'm, I guarantee you we'll have more than 22 bikes now. What do you think, girls? Yes. That's going to be cool. Uh, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take another quick break here. When we come back, we want to talk a little bit more about uh, this big kickoff party for Florida Ride or Die. You guys can tell us uh, a little bit uh, maybe about what you guys are going to be doing. Uh, Elsa just joined over there, so we'll uh, we'll give Elsa her own microphone. Because I know you say that you both won't be talking at the same time, but I bet you a dollar you will. I can see it in heaven's eyes already. We're back in minutes. This is Born to Ride Radio. Don't move. Duke's Brewhouse Lakeland, the hottest, newest place everyone is talking about, invites you to Bike Night, first Wednesday of every month, 6 to 9 p.m. Ride your motorcycle and get 15% off your meal at Bike Night. That's 15% off your meal at Bike Night. Speaking of food, it's the best in town with the hottest servers anywhere. Wing Wars? Dukes wins every time. So don't miss Bike Night. Dukes Brew House, Lakeland. It's the first Wednesday of every month. Brought to you by Border Ride TV and Magazine and Rubenstein Law.
Born to Ride Radio happening right now, all over the world. All over the world, all folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, big week, big things happening in the motorcycle community here locally. Of course, uh, the new Born to Ride magazine will be out tomorrow. We had a little soft release of uh, the new Florida Ride or Die magazine, looking a little bit like this. You can pick yours up. Please pick one up. Pick one up. <laughs> yes. all, by all means. Mm-hmm. Look what else I got. Look at that. Stick I got me some Florida Ride or Die stickers. We got bandanas, shirts. Looks nice. Show them the shirt right there. You're in front of the uh, yeah. the Facebook Here's Live the logo. Again. There you go, right there. There, there right you go. Get up in there, it. girl. <laughs> Hey, who is uh, who's Brittany? That's in the uh, in the uh, the cover here. The, look at this. Mm-hmm. Look at her. Look at her go. Yeah, you can read all about. We have Elsa's in there about different girl riders. Um, yeah. The month of May was the Ladies Rider Month, so we did that's shout right. outs. Yeah, we did the shout outs to a lot of the lady riders, the ones that are prominent in the area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you can read all about different lady riders. I know you guys out there probably. Interested about the lady riders in yeah. the area, so yeah. you, you know can they read are. that in both the Florida Ride to Die and the Born to Ride magazine. Listen, you know they are, especially when we start rolling footage of your bike like that. Yeah. Ooh. Your bike looking shiny, girl. Uh, Who detailed that for you? AJ Shipley. He what? did. My boy AJ. He does phenomenal work. Look it's, at that. It's something customs. I was looking for it on his Instagram, and I couldn't find it. I wanted to tell you guys actually today. He does phenomenal work, though. Um, he's on the Florida Ride or Die page, too, and I'll actually, after the show, I'll post that business card. So if you guys need your bike detailed, see AJ. He does amazing work. Elsa, did he do your bike, too? Yes, he did, and he's extremely uh, detail-oriented. He would actually go through the entire bike. He was literally lying down on the floor in yeah. my garage. He comes to you, by the way. You don't have to go yeah, to him. Yeah, it's a mobile detail. Really? Yeah. That's so, even nicer. Yes. And he'll wax the bike. I mean, it's not just washing. He does everything. Everything. Right. So it comes out looking nice. So for for a photo shoot or just if you're if you're wanting to go to one of the events and you want your bike to look nice or even for yourself – Go see AJ or have him come to you. Yeah, I just found the name for his business. It's called uh, Shiny Side Up Detailing. Oh, that's that's yeah. good play on words. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I was like, I couldn't remember it, so shiny I tried finding it on I his like page. That. Yeah, it's where you want. You always want the shiny side up. Shiny <laughs> side up. And, yeah, I still couldn't remember it, the blonde over here. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who are you looking at right here in this picture, Heaven? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Probably the photographer or a squirrel. Is that what or... it was? I got you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a nice checking. looking bike. It's better when it's clean. What were you thinking about right here, Heaven? I was like, that's a big rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that one you got hey! up there. Ooh, showing all that backside. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. I better take that off there. Mr. Nightlife. I haven't even posted. Haven't I'm telling you, he's got him. all the photos. I don't even have that on my own Instagram or Facebook, but Listen, you have we, it. We know some people that know some people that you shot do. some people. You truly do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my funny. gosh. Love yeah. it, man. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, I noticed that uh, when we were doing, uh, you know, the little footage there uh, during the commercial break, we had uh, some of the old stunt riders that were doing. We had uh, had our boy on a few, few weeks ago, but... Your eyes kind of lit up right there, like you had something uh, that you wanted to sneak and, and, and tell us. But I... Yeah, we have some uh, more more events that we'd like to plan in the future, and one of those is going to be a stunt event. Uh-huh. Um, we have some female stunners. Get out. Yes, it, we're really excited about it. Um, is Elsa one of them? Can Elsa roll up on there in her front wheel? You'll have to come and see. Elsa. Someone in this room might be. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, also reach out to me if you are interested being in this event. Yeah. Um, so if you have any questions about it, we will be posting everything about it. But if you are interested in being part of the stunt group, reach out to me. Let me know because more the better. Um, we have a couple slots, but we want to make it a you know a larger event where it's primarily a stunt show, but people can still gather and get together, have a good time. Yeah. Similar like we did on the Twisted Turtle, right. so, but with stunting. Mm. Uh, speaking of the Twisted Turtle. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys back out there again. You know, I'm out there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, spinning the tunes. Yeah, and Work we'll actually them. be out there this coming up Thursday as well. So if you guys missed last week, mm-hmm. um, 
feel free to come up there. I'll try to bring some shirts. We're not going to have as much like we did. With You're going to set the up the table time. and whatnot like you Yeah, did? we'll still bring some stuff. So if you guys would like to ride out there, it's a really nice place. They got a tiki bar, amazing drinks. Flash is going to be there DJing. Hey. He does wicky, amazing. Wicky, wicky. He really does. He has some, some good stuff that, and, you know, he, shout, he does shout outs. He'll tell you about the drink special. It's ladies night on Thursday plus bike night. So hey, just, just how come about out. Our girl, how about our girls' mojitos? Yeah. Oh. That is one of the <laughs> best <laughs> drinks there. They actually, I kid you not, they grow their own mint. Right there on the side of the building right over there. And when they told me that, I was so impressed. It's it's not just a restaurant and a bar. I mean, just everything about it is so nice and homey. And Say, yeah. Where's she going? She's going yeah. to pick you some more fresh mint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have the cooker out there, and it smells so good Angela. right by the... The tiki bar and it's it's nice. So, you know, honestly, goodness, they really do have some amazing food. They got uh, they got one of the best chefs in yes. town. It's a hidden secret back there, but uh, they they've got some chefs back in there, and mm-hmm. uh, they they put out some. Uh, it's a great place just to get back there and have some dinner, yeah. hang out with your friends. But uh, we've launched the uh, the Florida Ride or Die Bike Night on Thursdays, and uh, what a good time we had. And you know what, honest to goodness, I, I got You know, I, I'm not even making fun when I say. Uh, it looks like I got to meet half your family out there last Thursday night, and it was a great time. And if you think about it, mm-hmm. what do we have, like three or four or five days to put that together? Because Rick called yeah. me and said, hey, there's this girl named Heaven, and she approached me about doing a bike night. Are you available to DJ? I went, Heaven, are you kidding You're me? Like, I know Heaven. I know. Crazy I just girl. happen to know her. <laughs> I, must, I might have had her on my show mm-hmm. last week. Yeah. Her and Elsa. So, uh, yeah, that'd be, uh, that's, that's a good time. And, and, it was, and it was a good time. Yes. Everybody really got good. to get, and, and it is. It was kind of like hanging out with your yeah. family. Really an awesome yeah, time. Yeah, a, bike, a biker community. It's a nice family. Everybody kind of knows each other. And there was a couple people that reached out to me, and they're like, hey, my group doesn't want to go ride. Oscar, I'm talking about you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I said, come on out. It doesn't matter. You're going to meet new people. Everybody's mm-hmm. so friendly. And a couple people, they're like, hey, I never got to meet you in person. And when I seen them ride up, they're like, oh, my gosh, you were so nice and friendly. I was like, yeah, we're not going to push you away. You're a fellow right. rider. Right. It was a great time. And they got to meet yeah. Elsa. For you guys that don't know, she's the other admin on the Florida Rider Die page. So she's out there, too. Come say hi to us. We'd love to see you. Hey, shout out to Flying Brian. He was the only Harley rider out there, but he was representing Actually, for the Actually, there was like now three. Now they know what I, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was yeah. like three or four there were three later. Three or four more, but Flying Brian was but, the first one to roll up. Yes, yes. He, was, he was the first. Yeah. He was the first. And you know what? It's it, it's it's bikers. <laughs> Flying Brian was a little concerned. He's like, man, I'm the only Harley here. I, I, no, dude, you're a biker. Up later. Yeah. yeah, we're not haters. Yeah, no, we had uh, someone else come much later. He was like one of the only Harleys later, and he's like, where'd they all go? I was like, there's like six earlier. You missed them. Yeah. So over there, over there in, there in Harley, in, in the HD oh, yeah. section over yeah. there. Uh, so so good times. Uh, one more time, let's hit the big event that's coming up on the twelfth. Um, with you guys, it's it's the actual yeah. launch party for uh, for the magazine. We kind of did the soft launch. You can pick these up, mm-hmm. uh, like Antonio said. They are just they're they're everywhere. They're all over the place. Can you th- think of some of the places? I know you. I know oh, we got yeah. a bunch of them over there at the Honestly, Twisted Turtle, right on the end of the bar. If you guys go to any of the bike shops, we dropped a lot a lot off there. Mm-hmm. So you could go to any of those, and they'll probably be there. Um, if you want one, I can get one to you. We've yeah. had people just ask, "Can you mail one?" Can okay, mm-hmm. no problem. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if you go to a lot of those shops, they're going to be there. We had them at Quaker. We just a- any of those type of places. Now, do mm-hmm. you have them online, like the Born to Ride magazines? You know, you, you can look he, at it digitally online. Do you have a digital print that you can he get. He does to. have it in digital form. I, we can actually put it on the Florida Rider Die page. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know that we've updated it yet because we just came out with the hard okay. copy. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, we can all, definitely yeah. look at doing that. So it's people that stuff. can't, uh-huh. yeah, for sure. Right, good, mm-hmm. good, good, good. All right, so uh, again, uh, the twelfth, July the twelfth, uh, we've got the big, the, the big uh, kickoff party for the Florida Rider Die magazine, the new magazine that came out. We're working on uh, getting uh, getting our own radio show together. Uh, for that, which I can't wait to uh, to be a part of, that's going to be a good time. We got to find a place to to uh, maybe get that one out on the road. Another thing, um, if you look on our page too, it's listed as Florida Ride or Die Magazine Launch Bike Party and Car Show. Okay. So, for those that don't ride bikes, mm-hmm. we also will have some sick rides out there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people with some custom cars. So if you like cars and you like motorcycles, it's a win-win for you. Holy Be- cow. You know what? we got to get a hold of the guys over at Rooster's Rod Shop. Yes. Had them on last week. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Have them come God. up. Those boys got some badass nice. rides. And mm-hmm. we're, you know what? Actually... Uh, the night before that, on the it's going to be a busy weekend that weekend. It really is. Uh, 
because I'm going to be out hosting uh, their event at yeah. Rooster's Rod Shop uh, with a big burnout pit, oh, the whole thing. Nice. That's going to be a whole day yeah, starting like 10 in the morning. Up. Yeah. You you know what? We ought to, You ought to come out. Yeah, get the we bikes can do together, that. I'll come, come out, to them, and then we'll do the oh, little switcheroo. Look yeah. at that! <laughs> it'll we'll, be we'll, nice. It, I love it because we all yeah. can support each other for sure. So for I'll sure. be out there hosting the the uh, Roosters Rod Shop. I think Antonio mm-hmm. said uh, if I come out, he wants to throw a mic in my hand because <laughs> you know that's what I do. You're pretty good at it. So I get up on uh, get up on the mm-hmm. deal there. Uh, again, everything is at Born to Ride as well. Born to Ride Multimedia. Uh, all the the links. Uh, to to Florida ride or die, they they kind of co uh, coexist. Everybody's Definitely. partnered up, and, and I love it because it just seems like um, uh, when you guys have come on, it's it's like our family has just grown exponentially. Mm-hmm. So it's it's going to be a great time. And uh, uh, man, thank you guys for for coming out and being a part of the show. You know, you guys are welcome here anytime. You know where we live. Come on down, hang out with us. They don't know where I live. <laughs> We're going to have to do El- Elsa's just going to have to keep her makeup bag in the car. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Elsa didn't even want to get on. I said, Elsa, get, get in there. She yeah, I was on. like, we need the other admin up here. We were about to throw her on with her, with her mask on. Yeah. <laughs> she was going to do that. She yeah, was. Yeah, she, she, bol- <laughs> she bolted up there in the powder room and came out all powdered up and whatnot. But thanks for I doing didn't. that, Elsa. We appreciate <laughs> I you didn't. Guys. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. <laughs> That's okay. They've seen my face, you know. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. That's the way I feel about it. <laughs> exactly the way I feel about it. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Born to Ride Radio. We'll see you guys out on the open road. Yes. I guess check us out. We'll all be out at the Twisted Turtle on Thursday night. Yes, yeah. see you guys Thursday. Thursday night. Come on down and uh, bring your mask, and uh, mm-hmm. we'll see you guys then. Until then, and you the guys launch party. be safe <laughs> yes. and keep the shiny side up. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Mm-hmm. Are you down with the nation? Tiny Trailer Nation, the biggest secret in travel and adventure. Take your motorcycle anywhere. Live in comfort on the spot. Say goodbye to hotel costs. Campers, toy haulers, theme trailers built for any budget. One bike or two includes electric, water hookups, microwave, refrigerator, sink, tie downs, and more. Your trailer or ours, new or used. Your dream is here at a working man's price. Tiny Trailer Nation, biker, musician owned, a name you can trust. Is your business becoming invisible? Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride. Call 888-795-5779. Tampa Bay Nightlife TV is Tampa Bay's number one go-to guide for local entertainment, concerts, bands, bars, restaurants, and events, featuring a weekly Top 20 Things to Do show every Friday. So before you make your weekend plans, visit TampaBayNightlife.tv.